Okay, 2021 civil engineering set to question 28. A prismatic steel beam is shown in the figure and the plastic moment MP calculated for the collapse mechanism using static method and kinematic method is. Option A is MP static is greater than 2 PL by 9 is equals to MP kinematic. Option B is MP static is equals 2 PL by 9 which is not equal to MP kinematic. Option C is MP static is equal to 2 PL by 9 which is equal to MP kinematic. Option D is MP static is less than 2 PL by 9 equals MP kinematic. Reference to the relevant NPTEL courses or video has been cited. Now coming to useful data in plastic analysis of any structure. The first point is number of plastic hinges required to make a indeterminate structure determinate is static determinancy which is ds ds is equals r minus s where r is the number of reactions and s is the number of equilibrium conditions the second point here is to form mechanism or we can say to make the structure unstable number of plastic hinges required is ds plus one this was our first concept we can say now coming to the second concept in plastic analysis of any structure the following conditions must be satisfied so the first condition is equilibrium condition it says that when the structure is about to collapse it is still in equilibrium so equilibrium conditions must be satisfied which are summation x equals to 0 summation y equals to 0 and summation of moment about a point equals to zero now the second condition which we can say is mechanism condition or we can say collapse condition which says that when the structure is about to collapse sufficient number of plastic hinges must form so that a part or entire structure must transform into a mechanism now coming to the third condition which is we can say yield condition which says that when the structure is about to collapse the bending moment at any section should not exceed the plastic moment so we can say that applied bending moment or which is the actual bending moment shall not be greater than plastic moment of the structure so these are the three conditions which must be satisfied for the plastic analysis now if all the conditions equilibrium conditions and mechanism conditions and yield conditions are satisfied we get a unique load which is termed as collapse load at which the structure or the beam fail now coming to the video solution part to find the plastic moment mp the first method which we will be using here is static method for static method we have three equilibrium conditions which are summation fx equal to 0 summation f5 equal to 0 and moment about a particular point is 0 let's say here due to the point load here will be some reactions ra rc now if we draw the bending moment of this simply supported beam it will be something like this now if we use the equilibrium conditions here we can't use summation fx equal to 0 because as there is no horizontal force so if you use summation f5 equal to 0 that will be ra plus rc equal to p let's say this is our first equation let's say moment about point c equal to 0 so that will be ra into l minus p into 2l by 3 equal to 0 so if you solve it we will get ra equal to 2p by 3 so rc will be p by so the moment as at point b will be our plastic moment mp will be so this will be our plastic moment and this distance is l by 3 so plastic moment mp will be ra that is 2p by 3 into l by 3 so the mp value we are getting here is 2 pl by 9 30 which we can write mp static now talking about the second method of analysis which is kinematic method so we can see here in in this beam due to the point load p there will be some deformation if you draw the deformation diagram of beam ac that will be something like this let's say the deflection here is delta the deformation angle here is theta and the deformation angle here is pi so due to the symmetry this angle will also be theta and this angle will also be pi so as we know that from the 
कंपेटिबिलिटी कंडीशन डिफ्लेक्शन डेल्टा विल बी एल बाई थ्री इंटू थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू टू एल बाई थ्री इंटू फाइव सो इफ यू सॉल्व इट वी विल गेट थीटा एज टू फाइव Now we know that in all the method of analysis, the equilibrium condition must be satisfied. So here, external work done will be equal to internal work done, which we can write as m p into theta plus m p into phi will be equal to p into m p into theta, and phi we can write as m p into theta. By two, that will be equal to our delta will be l by three into theta. This will be three m p theta by two, and it will be p l by three into theta. So if you solve it, we will get m p as two p l by nine, which is our m p kinematic. So for a prismatic steel beam shown here, the value of m p static and m p kinematic will be two p l by nine. So option C is the correct answer. Reference to the relevant NPTEL courses or video has been cited.